Well, uh, today we're doing a cricket activators course with Tom. Today we work through our cricket leaders activators booklet and learn what skills a leader will need. next year to join the army as a leader so this course will help me to like, learn about the qualities of a leader and a good leader and I can take that forward after school. And... I'm planning on doing here in industry so I guess like, there's loads of transferable skills that I can use so my leadership within a team if I'm like, running a project or something. No, you don't have to be good at cricket to be a cricket activator. It's just all about leading teams and just improving people. So it's just, you don't have to be good at the sport, just as long as you know how to keep people interested and how to just be a leader, basically. Uh, as part of the Crickets Activators course, we've got to do 10 hours volunteering. So I think both me and Jack are planning yeah. on um, doing it with school, you know, helping in PE lessons and maybe we could organise a, yeah. a, a tournament with the middle schools or... or yeah, or, or we could go down the Priory and do some yeah. coaching down there with the disabled students and volunteering mm -hmm. over there. Organising festivals like cricket tournaments, cricket festivals here at the school with, with their first school children, that kind of thing. I mean, me personally, I'm going to take knowledge of this coaching into maybe doing my level one and two for cricket coaching. So I don't know what I'm going to do after school, but I'll definitely try and do my level one and two coaching. This course booklet and learn like what like leadership. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Determination and confidence that I'll gain from this course. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs>